Hello again everyone, welcome to another Transformers review. This is Graham, also known as The Collector 75. Uh, before I begin, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all my 500 subscribers. Um, it was only like three weeks ago, I looked like 400, so must have been saying right. There we go. Um, a big shout out to Adodi. Um, oh, come on, Adodi 1984 maybe, that's the one. Adodi 1984, yeah. I said I'll give you a shout out and I wanted to. Hopefully he's going to be doing his own Transformers review soon, so that would be good to look out for. Anyway, right, on to today's review, because uh, still limited to bloody 10 minutes. Here we go. Right, be the e-hobby Generation 1 GoBots from 2004. Let me just bring on the box quickly. There we go, standard e-hobby reissue box. Now you can probably just see the artwork for the figures in there, as you can see. Number 84. These were, of course, just recolors of the 2004 mini box uh, special collection reissue that they brought out. Now then, the reason why I thought I'd do these and what makes them kind of special, because they are in fact just um, plain old recolors of the minibots really. And unless you really love the minibots, they're just pretty plain. But why I love them, here we go, right then. It's mainly due to the bios of these guys. Now then, here we go. Uh, where's their bios? Here we go, I've got them written down somewhere. Right, now then. Generation one, GoBots. Function, dimensional exploration experimentation team. These are the first group of robots on Cybertron to call themselves GoBots, equipped with completely standard outward appearances and transformation functions of Transformers. They are, in fact, undercover operatives of a species that come from a completely different universe. They are special duties. They are sorry. They are a special duties unit comprised of initially opposing powers, who joined forces to save their brethren from a crisis threatening to destroy their home world. Even as they conduct secret, se such secret activities on Cybertron as intelligence gathering, diplomacy and dimensional interference experiments, they have broad technologies such as their distinctive transporter devices and biomechanical engineering to this world, contributing to the birth of new generations of Transformers like the Spy Changers. There we go. Now then, if you haven't guessed, these are actually supposed to be not Transformers, but actually GoBots. Yes, GoBots from that dodgy 1984 range that were um, rivals to Transformers back in the day, which is why I love them. Now, of course, America bought out, I think it was either Tonka or um, who done them in the US? I can never remember. Is it Mattel? I can't never remember. Anyway, they bought them out and they acquired the name GoBots, which is why we had the Generation 2 GoBots and everything like that. Anyway, so yes. Um, right, let me bring on one of the first figures. Here we go. This is just a recolor of Cosmos, but this guy is called Pathfinder because his GoBot thing was called Pathfinder and he was some sort of little spaceship like that because they've used um, everyone who was like a GoBot, they've tried to figure out you know, the best one that they could match him up with. Now then, of course, he just transforms in the usual old way. Um, if I can remember, he's been transforming this guy for ages. There we go, just pull out the feet. And down. Oh, there we go. <sighs> His feet don't want to move. There we go, because I haven't done them right, mate. Oh, there we go. It's a bit stiff. There we go. I've never transformed this guy, to be honest. You know that. There we go. And we pull up his little head. There we go. And that is Pathfinder. Now then, he has an Autobot insignia, but of course this guy is um, supposed to be a Guardian, of course. So there we go. There we go. His head don't want to stay up, does it? Oh, there we go. It's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Because it is a reissue after all. There we go. We're going to put him down to one side. Now then, the next guy is, if I've got my little thing right, I think this guy is, um, Smallfoot. Hmm. And there he is. There he is, of course. Now, I think, I believe this guy in his original GoBots incarnation was kind of like a long nose cab type transformer. Sort of like a rival to Optimus Prime, really. Anyway, that is him there. And is of course, this is a re, uh, re de recolor of gears. Anyway, we're going to transform this fella like that. Quite simple, really. How are we doing for time? Oh, great, just there we go. There we go, that transforms just like that. So a nice recolor of gears there called Smallfoot. Now then, there we go. Pretty good. <clears throat> right, now then we come on to this guy, which is called, I believe, Road Ranger, and is a recolor of Huffer. I think he looks really cool in this black kind of color. Kind of like giving that Nemesis Prime effect with the red windshield there as well. Pretty good, nice little chrome all around it. And then we're going to transform this guy, easy. We just pull out the little legs like that, as usual. And then we're just going to flip him over. 
and then we'll flip this to the back of the loop and then remember how this goes on this fella. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's him. Is that it? That is it. Yep, there we go. And then we uh, turn him around. I'm going to pull out the arms and move them around like that. There we go. And that is Road Ranger, is it? Yes, Road Ranger. I don't know the um, what, what he which go what he was taken from because uh, I don't really know the go bots that well too much, and I only have like one go bot, um, which I managed to get off eBay a while ago. Anyway, right, we're going to come to the first of the Renegades, and they have of course taken on the guise of Decepticons. This guy is Treads now, and I believe he was a Guardian, and it does say in um, sort of like the other bit that I've got um, that Treads. Um, Disguise himself as a Decepticon to keep an eye on the other two renegades that were in this group because they are supposed to be infiltrating the Transformers universe for some unknown reason or like I said some sort of crisis or something. It was never followed up upon unfortunately but it's really really good. Anyway this is Treads, uh, recolor, a green recolour of Warpath and now I like this because they've actually coloured the Treads on this guy black which is really good. Transform this guy like that as usual. Let me just pull out the arms. Push that back flip up the little head and there we have so a Decepticon version of Warpath there nice little recolor now then we come to one of my favorites of course this is Bug Bite which is a recolor of Bumblebee now and this guy at this time he's got a nice little Decepticon sign on the top of his roof there now then of course a Bug Bite was a yellow VW Beetle and probably more realistic than um, Bumblebee was um, to be honest but they thought, well, just doing a straight re recolor, well, reissue of Bumblebee really be a bit pointless. So they just coloured him white, which was um, quite good, actually, because it was really, really good. Anyway, we're going to transform this fella. Here we go. As usual, just the same old transformation. Here we go, like that. There we go. And that is Bug Bite. Of course, he did get, um, I think it was either a Botcon reissue of the classics Bumblebee. But this is the original one. There we go. So he is a renegade. Um, here we go. And they've given him a new uh, face. I don't think we're going to have to see that there. Yeah, you know, so that's not too bad. Right, so now then we're going to come down to the last of this group, which is called Bad Boy. And here he is. Not such a, well, such a quite a good figure, really. Um, a Decepticon version of Power Glide. Here he is in his grey form. Now then, I do have the GoBot version of this one. Which he is supposed to be. Um, unfortunately, he's a bit on the loose side. I did get this off eBay for about two quid, so I can't grumble. Um, just needs his joints tightening up. But this is the original GoBots version of Bad Boy, and this is his Transformers version. I actually prefer the GoBots version, especially in this mode, because his plane mode looks very, very realistic. He's got chrome. Oh, there we go. Like I say, he's very loose. He's got chrome missiles underneath the wings, but you can't see his little dodgy face. I'm not going to transform this guy because it's very annoying, and he's very loose. Look at that, the wings just fall down. But I'm going to sort that out a bit of glue as soon as I can be bothered. He looks really good though. I love this. And I did have this when I was a kid. Um, he was quite a good little little toy. Um, I probably smashed him up though long, long, long ago. Anyway, right, we're going to transform Power Glide. Oh, sorry, Bad Boy. There we go. Just pull out the little legs. Uh, spin around his little head. Flip these up into place. And then get, fold down the arms. Like so, and then that's his robot mode. I actually quite like this because I like the arms, and he's got really good articulation. These arms, they'll just about move anywhere, which is really good. And I loved the power glide at the time when I was a little kid. So yeah, so this is how much time have I got? Oh, we're gonna have to wrap this up very quickly. But that is that set, and now I liked them. I liked them mainly because of the bios and everything like that. I'm just gonna show you a few more rare little things that I've got. This is, of course, his Bumble Jumper which I bought for £50 off eBay. I tried to get the red Bumble Jumper version a few months ago when I got my Diaclone Trailbreaker and um, unfortunately I was outbid. It went to over over £120, I think, something like that, and I couldn't justify it just for this little figure. Let me transform it very quickly. Same transformation as Bumblebee, but of course it's just different. Now, in my, the arms are very loose on my one. I've tried tightening them up, but I just can't seem to do it. Anyway, that is Bumble Jumper. And now then I have a red version of Bumblebee. There we go. Got that off eBay. Come over five quid, ten quid, and a yellow version of Cliff Jumper. There we go. Um, I did get the backing card for this guy, but it's up in the loft somewhere. There we go. So I thought I'd just show you them. I hope you liked this review. Um, yeah, I wanted to do them mainly because of the storyline. I thought the storyline around these these e hobby releases was one of the best. 
Um, especially the bit where it says like bringing all like biomechanical engineering because of course the gobots apparently I think were human before they were turned into robots. And of course in biomechanical engineering we had the Beast Wars. So you know all sort of fits in and I really did like that and that's what I like about Transformers, all the quirkiness about some of them. Anyway, I'm going to end this review there. I really hope you liked it and once again thank you to all my 500 subscribers um, and I'll see you all next time.